But hi, welcome to Matt's Garage. Today is a bit different. We're going to be talking about the freight ends of sanity. Why am I holding up steel cable from Harbor Freight? Well, it has to do with work. I'm making an experiment to measure the tension load caused by catenary light strings uh, for this festival street we're building. And um, the engineers have come back saying it's 800 pounds of tension, which I don't believe. So I've got a scale on order. We're going to hook up the whole rig and get it working. Here's the rope we're going to be using. It's a three millimeter diameter, a galvanized steel rope. Uh, for the project, we're going to use stainless, but uh, I wanted to keep this experiment uh, economical. This is 1,540 pounds of uh, maximum load capacity, so that should be plenty. If my theory is correct, I need 36 feet of cable because that's what's uh, strong. That's the distance strong between the poles. So let me just cut this to length. It's four, eight. Six, and then let's just do two feet for the cable ends to be safe. I just soldered the end, keep it from freeing. These cheapo clips. Two on each end. All right, that's one cable end. Now let's string the catenary lights through this. Barely. Barely fits. One important variable is the weight of the load. So the bulbs, the cable, the string. Bathroom scale. Too light to measure. Actually, my weight scale just came. That works. That's kgs. 10 pounds. All right. Kitchen scale. Six pounds, 4.6 .6 ounces. Now we're gonna take this rig outside, string it between two trees, screw in the bulbs, and then see where we're at. Okay, here we are. For the experiment to be valid, your lights have to be on. We've got a level string, 37 feet between the tree and the, uh, the deck there. And this is at a 28 inch sag. I have to tear it out. To zero it? Yeah. Alright, so that is at 12.4 pounds. If you want to take the tape and maybe we'll go to 18 inch side. 16. Alright, 16 inch sags. We're at 22 pounds of tension. What's that say? Eight. Eight, eight inches is 40 point. 40.2 pounds of tension. And that's probably about as that's tight great. as I'm gonna go. Yeah. It's five. Five inches of sag is 59.6 pounds of tension. Thank you, Lee, for helping with the experiment. I hope this helped inform you when you're calculating your catenary loads. See you next time on Matt's Garage.